Hey there guys, their friends Green Guard here and welcome to this next episode of Let's Play The Simpsons Hit and Run. Uh it seems to me like this might be a bit of a longer episode to fit it all in. But we should be finishing up level three today, because we only have two more story missions, one uh, race, and um uh, three vehicles, but we can buy two of them, so there's that. And we still need to find two gags. The thing is I'm not quite sure where they are. I'm gonna go in the front door first and check the living room, because if I remember Bart was blocking some earlier and well, Homer's back there. Of a prisoner named Skateboarding Glory. Okay. Did I pull the fire alarm at school too? That might count as one. Unless... No, that... Did that count as one? We'll need to check. It did count as one, so there's only one more I'm missing. I'll go check the school then. Should I wait on that? I think I'll wait on that. Because first, uh... First, I'm going to actually be driving behind me, even past Ralph, over towards the car salesman near Cletus' house. I realize in retrospect that we drove the Canyon Arrow a lot in this uh, level, which is why, uh, which is why we, you know, haven't been able to show off any cars. Like I drove it for three-story missions, and probably it would have been a fourth too if I didn't. Uh, why am I looking around? There's no lost cameras to find. There's not going to be any gags over here. But, um, yeah, I drove it for three story missions, and it would have been a fourth if they didn't force us to drive Cletus' car in the fourth mission. So, yeah, that's my fault. We drove this for a story mission, and, um, a race. The Canyon Arrow for a race. The point is, we drove the Canyon Arrow around a lot. I think we've seen enough of it that we can drive other vehicles. But old Gil over here is going to hook us up with a new ride. The wolf is at old Gil's door. Specifically, Krusty's Limo, which I have no idea how we came across. It probably got, um, repossessed, honestly. But, anyway, we're here. Yes, it has a good horn. I don't know why it instantly reminded me of that, but that, uh, that horn is, reminds me of, uh, the very ending note of when you die in, uh, Super Mario Galaxy, you know, it goes... Like that. Need some road rage. Or should I just put the video clip in again? I probably should because like again, you don't want to hear me singing. But the point is, it makes that this, the last note has the same sound to me. See? Anyway. Enough of that. We're gonna be using that car for the next mission, probably. But to start the next mission, we'll be needing to climb into Bart's room back here. He managed to find his way upstairs. Now here's a, we can change in here. I don't know how I feel about that, but we're going to be doing it in the cop outfit anyways. Bart, do you recognize this design? That's the alien mind control cola. They gave us tons of that up in the alien spaceship. They're using it to make the town go crazy. Oh, thank you. God, you snapped out of your trance. I was so worried. Later, I'm going to the arcade. This conspiracy goes all the way to the top. I need a little extra firepower. As Officer Marge. Safe and sound. I was not expecting that. I was going to keep this on anyways because it seemed appropriate. I did not know we had to buy two outfits during this level. But I was actually about to change into Marge's normal outfit otherwise. But I figured... Uh, we only wore this for the last episode, so we can keep it around an episode longer, but what do you know? It's actually what we need. Anyway, we'll start the mission. The Cola Wars. We're gonna collect all the evil cola cans before time runs out. Oh god. And it has the music from the monkey mission. It's giving me bad flashbacks. And we don't even need a car, do we? Doesn't look like it. Oh well. We just need to be efficient with our running over here. I said be efficient, yeah, like that. And then, one's in the tree over here, of all things. Don't know why there's such a steady stream of cola cans that this pedestrian was throwing away, but, you know, whatever. Uh, we're not making too good time, but I think we're basically doing the best time that we can, so I'm not gonna beat myself up over it until I fail, I guess. So, yeah, they're all very concentrated over here, appropriately near the Quickie Mart, I guess. If anyone was going to order their soda cans, it would be near 
the place where they buy them. And the gas stations as well. Because most people just litter at gas stations anyways, rather than buy stuff from there. It's the truth. Actually, we're, yeah, it's so concentrated over here that we're making better time. I was concerned that, like, a minute I'd go. No, it wasn't quite a minute. I'm just... I'm just not good at remembering times, I guess. Anything back here? No? Okay. I'll take collecting that can. Was there another one up there? There was. So I need to fetch that real quick. That might screw me over. I thought I caught it before. I thought I got everything up here, I mean, but apparently not. Having three kids really slows you down. I understand, March, but you're in a cop outfit, so you gotta be in shape. It's like, at least when you first get licensed, otherwise. I mean, when you first go through Academy, not necessarily licensed, because they don't necessarily have a license, but... So now we gotta drive to the Quickie Mart, but that's not what we're gonna do. We're gonna hitch a ride with... not him. With him! And uh, head back over towards the Simpsons house. And we're going to use the Krusty Limo in uh, Ralph's race. Why don't we do that? Yep. Right there. So we'll go head on over to Ralph's race. Which should be right over here. Yeah, because he teleported before. Because he's in the backyard over there, but he's also over here. I don't think this is the best car to be racing in, but you know what? I know what the other car is. The other car we can buy behind the school, and uh, it's not a good racing car, so. Little Ralphie Wiggum, how are you? Candy makes me happy, then tired. So, what are you doing here? Two ugly monsters named Patty and Stoma say you have to race. And finally, here's the our third Six, race. 12, one, go! That's interesting. This might happen before, but uh, that car in first is... is it actually the breaks the trend that I was mentioning before, because usually the number see? one character is the same as before, see? but that's not the case now. Well, we're only in a race against one other person. But the point is... Oh, this car is not that good. If we fail, I'm gonna have to switch to a different one. Maybe if I use the power of the horn. But, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. That car actually breaks the train because it's not a character. I'm pretty sure whoever's driving that car is not the... I shouldn't say anything else because of spoilers, but... The point is, it breaks the trend that I was describing before. The other character in uh, Nelson's race did fit the trend. How'd you do that? So let's. Let's. That was bad. That was very bad. If I had actually gone straight, I could have succeeded, but. It didn't quite happen, now did it? Is it a full lap? I think it's a full lap, so we still got a ways to go. But not many more shortcuts I can take, unfortunately. Because they probably. Probably block off the burning tire pile shortcut if I had. Oh. You're just like your vacuum cleaner. You suck. I have to drive all the way back. Are you kidding me? No time for caution. Oh, but uh, how does this compare to the curator? I'm curious. I know I did this before, but we mainly need speed and acceleration. Two and a half, three. That's the clown car. No, it's not. It's Krusty's car. Two and a half, two, so a star difference on uh, acceleration. Yeah, I'm going to take this for the race. Sorry, Krusty Slomo, you just kind of suck. And like I said, the car we get behind the school, not much better. Now, I changed into Marge's normal outfit, and uh, I figured while we're back here, we can buy this last car from Willy. And uh, any fans of the show probably already know what, are you it, doing what it is. Yeah, they've got to sell my beloved tractor. My father's been thrown in the clink for football hooliganism, and I've no money for his bail. Well, I certainly could use a tractor around the house for hauling away Homer's empties. 
We can, in fact, buy Willie's tractor. It's even branded with his name. Okay, it is actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be. So, you know what? We're going to take the tractor for a race. I thought it was going to be like two stars most in each of those categories, but... It's not that bad. Where even is it? Oh, it's over here. I need a long island ice. So, yeah. And, uh, and uh, I checked the... Um, the... Uh, things, you know, the things in the, uh, school, the gags in there, and unfortunately none of them were our last gag, so I'm actually well, we're going to the Quicken Mart anyway, so I'm not going to do it then. It's a little weird to see a housewife in a dress a suburban housewife in a dress driving a tractor around, but you know, there's where your sights. While I'm here, this bee guy I think I've mentioned it before, but he shows up every now and then on The Simpsons, and I have no idea what he's about. I just remember that uh, he's standing around here in this mission, in front of this big... It's not quite a mansion, but it's a pretty spiffy house, if I do say so myself. And, uh, I went and checked, uh, mayor, the mayor's house, to, because he has a doorbell on the front of it, and uh, see if that counted as a gag. Doorbells do not count as gags, which means, um... Sort of out of ideas for something, unless there's something in Bart's room that I can figure out. I'll uh, doodle around some more until I can figure it out. Because I'm pretty sure I did everything in the Quicken Mart too, but you know. It is, in fact, in Bart's room. It's uh, his lamp right there, which is a little rude because you. I think it's the level change icon as well. So, sort of a rude place to put it. Either of those things, really. But, I found it, so uh, no worries. Now all we need to do is go and race. Alright, attempt number two. Six, twelve, one, go! I didn't even notice how we screwed up the counting last time because I was so focused on the fact that this car in front of us breaks the trend. Can I veer left? I think I can veer left. Oh, uh, not good enough. Not a good enough shortcut. Ooh, you know what I could do, though? Go to the right over here. It doesn't seem like they cut you off from too many shortcuts over here. They just don't want you going the completely wrong way. Yeah, that's right. Come back here. I don't think this is going to end well. Yeah, this isn't going too well. The only real shortcut I can still make is uh, the one from on top of the gas station, and uh, yeah, I don't have a history of doing that one well. And I'll probably crash anyway, so... I think I can do it with the tractor, I just screwed up uh, that landing first, so there's that. Yep, there's the crash! And uh, he won, I can't get in front of him now. Unless he crashes up here, but that seems a little unlikely, because he's actually a pretty good AI, all things considered. Uh, you lost, and don't blame it on Homer. Well, I can't. It was—it it was absolutely my fault, really. That was a little bit of an odd restart, how the audio was delayed. Now, uh, this time I'm going to be going to the right this way, following him, and then uh, cut across the top. Because I think it's a little bit of a shorter turn than it is over there. Also, it lines us up pretty well to come up here and take this shortcut. Yeah, that works pretty well. So now we're in front of him. So do that next time, because uh, taking that shortcut, instead of going through the person's garage, um, the turn that you have to make there is shorter than the turn you have to make otherwise. I used to be able to make both of those turns by slowing down at the very end, but I haven't been able to replicate it here. I don't know why. When I was much younger, I used to be able to make that turn very consistently. Excuse me. No. No. Wow. And he took the shortcut. Wow. He didn't take the shortcut last time, he only took it because I took it. Huh. <sighs> okay, I'm in front of him this time, so unless I screw... And he's turned around, so unless I screw something up bad, I should have it this time. 
Uh, that time he didn't take the shortcut. I'm assuming it's because um, he was in front. Yeah, because he was in front in the first place and they wanted me to take the... Jesus Christ, Tanner. Good work, Marjorie. You're finally turning your life around. Did it run over the other sister? I think it did. I think it did run over her in the cutscene. <laughs> well, I was about to be real angry at myself for screwing that up, but you know, it, it worked out well in the end. We got a nice laugh out of it, and I still won with the tractor of all things. Beat that, science. Beat been so long you, sisters. But, uh, yeah, we unlocked a clown car for that. I, You don't know how many times it took me to do that. But I'm assuming the reason it took the shortcut that one time when I went when I was in front is because of rubber banding. And the AI doesn't take shortcuts and acts dumber if they're in front so you can catch up. And if they're behind, then they do take shortcuts so they can catch up to you. That's basically the gist of it, I guess. At least it isn't as blade. It's like rubber banding with the AI instead of like the typical rubber banding uh, that racing games do where they just teleport the cars in front of them or give them imp like speeds impossible for you to accomplish because usually they do one of those two things and it just feels completely unfair looking at you Mario Kart 64 but anyway we've just about got this wrapped up here we should call in the clown car shouldn't we and do this wager race, why don't we? Right here. Yep, clown car. Yeah, it's got speed, acceleration, and handling. That's all I need. I just need to make sure not to wreck it enough. I could really use a lift. And of course, it's a clown car, so it's small. How does Marge fit into it? Not really, her hair actually clips through a little bit when she's getting in. Wow, it's been like 180 degrees. That's uncomfortable. Wow, did you just see her neck been there? Look at, look at that. Look at that. She is a demon. I don't know why I tried turning my head that way to see if I could do that, because I have headphones on, and it just yanks me back. Oh my gosh, it has bubbles as exhaust? That's... And it has the horn. I don't quite understand why they gave you both the... Uh, clown vehicles in the same mission both Krusty's limo and this because they're pretty similar all things considered but only this one's a bit more fun I guess but whatever we're going to take this one for a race because uh because it it looks like it would do much better than the than Krusty's limo besides I think Krusty's limo would be better suited for the final mission if I had to take a guess don't you click GameCube that startles me Entry fee 35, two and a half, medium. They've all been medium, haven't they? Complete an entire lab before time runs out to win coins. All right. Move it or lose it, Buster. Don't honk at me, I have to do a race. My bad. Oh my gosh. Watch out. Excellent start. So do I actually have to hit the checkpoints or am I allowed to go this way? I think I'm just allowed to go wherever as long as it takes me a lap around. Yeah, I am. That's good. Because this place has lots of shortcuts and I don't know how to take most of them. Like this one up here. You run over some pedestrians. Don't hit the brick wall though. And you can uh, just hop over this hill and like that. It's the same as before I'm pretty sure. Because... Like, I'm pretty sure this is the same course as before. I hope they're all right. Only a little different. Minute differences, I guess. Mm, we've made a fair distance in a minute, so I think we should be fine unless I crash like that. We basically just need to drive through the power plant and we'll be fine. That's the part that concerns me, because that part can slow me down a lot. You know what else will slow me down? Getting the cops on me, so... Uh, Let's not go through the trailer park. We'll sacrifice some seconds at the cost of... You you hopped in front of my car! I know it, I know it initially looked like I was veering towards you, but come on. Um... I can do this. I can salvage this. Oh, gosh. 
They almost took me out there. I can still do this. I probably can't do this, but I'm gonna try. Run through the fields, that'll cut them off. I can't even see because of the smoke on my vehicle. Oh my gosh, I, I killed a cop. Am I a bad person? Okay, now we have to get through here in a... Oh gosh, that worried me. I thought I was about to crash on there, and I'm pretty sure if you crash then, it's just over right then. Yeah, I don't think I can get through in 30 seconds, so, uh, especially if I get the cops on me again. Yeah, there's no way I'm finishing this. That Getting the cops on me was a bad call. So, uh, there goes my money, unfortunately. And uh, I'll have to try again. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. Well, let's at least finish the race so we can get the cops off of us. I was hoping I would get that wrench to... to, to... Wow, I should have timed out. Oh my gosh. Man, that was bad. Hopefully this one goes better. I'll do my best. Yeah, this is going a fair bit better so far. I'm not wrecking it much. That said, my car does look a little dented more than it should at this point. And I can I still have ample opportunity to screw this up. You can head on to the sidewalk. Just be mindful of uh, your hit and run meter. Yeah, do that. Come over here. Cut this corner by running over a pedestrian. No wonder the cops get on me. I I just veer onto the sidewalk. I I really need to like balance out. Is that shortcut worth it if it gets the cops on me? The answer is usually no, but that doesn't stop my calculus apparently. And I need my meter to go down because I want to take a shortcut to the trailer park. Like so. Yeah, we're good. I just need to get out of the way. All I hit was a tree and it can not move, so that's fine with me. I don't think any of them, like, moved out of the way, though. They ju I just sort of veered out of them. They just stood there and watched me. But, so far so good. Unless that gets the cops on us. That was a poor decision. That was a corner I shouldn't have cut. It worked out in the end, but it very well couldn't have. Yeah, we're doing, like, 30 seconds better than last time. So, I think we're fine. Unless I hit the, uh... Are you serious? You know what? Screw it. Oh, he's gonna cut me off in here. Oh, that would have been a good strategy otherwise. Because that was narrow and I could not have avoided that. So do I automatically fail if... No, I don't. That's good to know. So I can still finish this. Just need to cut this corner up here and I think... Well, unless that happens. Unless that happens too! Don't get back onto the road, y'all! gosh, I've lost so much money on this, and I'm actually starting to run short on coins because, like, because, like, I spent a lot more than I was expecting these past couple episodes. I didn't make it. Are you serious? It was because I got cut off at the end that I failed. One second. I'm a little miffed. should have worn sensible shoes all right hopefully third time's the charm I'll do my best. okay I actually made the jump that time so hopefully things go a little better uh, there's not enough guys in here for me to get a hit and run so that's good I I'm not gonna say anything because I jinxed it last time I still figured out a way to jinx it but I can safely say that this is by far the easiest time we've had. I made a lot of, like, little mistakes at the beginning, but hope... I swear to God. I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying a word. Help! 
There we go. Well, I still believe that was a net loss because, um... Because what? I lost 50 coins on the busted. I paid in, um... 105 coins, so yeah, it was a net loss because I only won 135. Unless, unless you count coins like I collected along the way, in which case it was a slight profit. But that doesn't matter because we have to uh, do this last mission. Before I forget, though, I need to read the bonus cards. This episode might be, end up being a little bit longer, but you know, whatever. Mr. Plow, Homer may no longer have his Mr. Plow business, but Marge won't let him get rid of the jacket. I'm the plowingest guy in the USA. I got a big plow and I move a lot of things. I just, just like your cow if you have one. That's a weird quote. I don't want to go to this one, but we will anyways. Marge proves her arch artistic skills by revealing the inner beauty of a naked ugly Monty Burns that's not something I that's no the only love letter March ever received from Homer written on the back of a postcard from the Duff Brewery in Capital City in 1978 Homer gave a beautiful green bowling ball engraved Homer to Marge for her birthday. Red Blazer. The Red Blazer representing the principles and ideals of the real estate industry. Okay, that's a little weird. I don't quite get it, but whatever. Homer gets second prize at a contest put on by the local radio station, a free boudoir photography session. That, again, not something I needed to know about. And finally, Pepper Story, which is what we need for our eyes after all that. From Marge's brief stint as a police officer, Homer enjoys a squirt of pepper spray on his eggs in the morning. Anyway, we're going to go in here. And uh, talk to Apu. Apu, I think you should be aware that you're selling a tainted core. Where's this stuff coming from? Oh, there is little here not tainted in some way. Even the astrology scrolls give poor advice. But I will get to the bottom of this. Well, it made Bart go crazy. And if I find the distributor, I'm going to give them a piece of my mind. Careful, Mrs. Simpson. This cola makes people do irrational things without guilt. It is as though they have bottled the effects of a raging frat kegger. That's it. I'm going after it. And any other evil cola trucks I can find. From outer space. Destroy all the cola delivery trucks before time runs out. So we'll definitely want to uh, grab Krusty's limo. Because I'm either that or the tractor are the heaviest destroy things that we have in this mission. Or the Kremlin for that matter. We haven't driven the Kremlin, but we've done another mission. So it doesn't matter that much. What's the toughness on that? Three star, four star. Yeah, we're taking this. Hook me up with some wheels, man. We can show the Kremlin off some other time. We just didn't really have a chance to this time. I was hoping I would be able to grab a wrench, but you know, that was unexpected. I've never seen that before. Just have a car drive over me, like in Die Hard 5. Ow. That was an oddly specific reference. I'm sure it's happened in other movies, but that was the one I was thinking of. Now, I can hit you some more. For a big armored truck, it's actually getting dented surprisingly easily. Like, like, do you see how much that light pole alone took off? Yeah. Let's have you drive into that tree! Except not... I can't. Oh well. Let's... Yeah, crash into a sign! How do you like that? And finally, we have a time limit for each one of these. So I do oh, need to be careful, and we see our meter's still building up. I say as I run over more people, it crashed itself, and a person blew up. So now we go to Mr. Burns' mansion, of course. I knew, I knew we would. I just wanted to be careful of it. Also, I'm pretty sure, like that. Well, you may be able to do some gags, so maybe we could have saved some time and done it here. But you know, it do, it doesn't matter. We did before. 
Alrighty. We can... Let's drive on the ground, because it'll probably want us to, like, do a U-turn or something up here. To destroy another truck, if I had to guess. It's, it did say destroy all the cola trucks, so I doubt that there's only one. I knew it! But that was not the truck. Sorry, bud. You just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Did it do a U-turn? Are you serious? It's escaping me. Well, you know, it's probably going to crash up here. Because, like, these are big. Or small ears, rather. Of course. It is a fairly straight line, so maybe if we can't do something about it. I can crash you up here, though. Nah. Okay, that's not damage to get much, so we're going to uh, continue along. Nope, block your way. Hmm. No, didn't do much damage there. Where are you going now? Yeah, this one seems a bit hardier than the last one, and uh, we actually have less time. Or at least I have less time because I screwed up at the beginning here. So if I fail, my fault, my fault. And uh, I'm not doing much better right here. He's only got about a quarter of a damage, and I have a minute to destroy him. And there's not much for him to slam into, so that's a problem. I'm getting wrecked more than he is. And, uh, yeah. Bad things. Bad things. Oh, uh, no. I'm trying to, like, T-bone him so he'll run off the road, but it's not working out too well. Yeah, I think I failed this mission, guys. I'm sorry. Sorry to fail the last mission of level 7. To be fair, we haven't had much success with the other ones here either, so... The game's starting to get a little tough. Like, why doesn't that do any damage? I spin him around. We may be able to salvage this. Probably not, if I had to guess. Yeah, we can't. That sucks. Now, something I didn't mention before is that music note that I just played. I don't know why. It reminds me a lot of, uh, I think it's a Tom Jones song. What, it, what is it? Oh, gosh. I can't remember the name of it. But it's the one, though, where the Carlton dance came from. That song. Where the beat of that goes, bum, ba-dum, bum, ba-dum, bum, ba-dum, bum, ba-dum. It has a similar one uh, right here, a similar beat to that, except uh, it doesn't have the pickup note. The, set, the pickup notes in between. So, it's a little different, enough to avoid copyright issues, but hey, whatever. Alright, so we've about got this one destroyed. Now, is there a wrench I can find? Yes, in the back of the screw. So, I mean, we're already close enough, so... And I need to show you how to actually tackle the second car, so it should be fun if I just continue talking from right here. I'd cut out, like, maybe 30 seconds, if that, so it's not that big a deal. Grab this wrench. Good, good. And, uh, again, not the way I want to do it, but we're doing it anyways, apparently. I wasn't expecting me to have enough speed to fly off like that, but whatever. So, couldn't get into you that way, but you're going to spin around right here. And I'm going to follow up behind you. I'm going to get you. Now, I feel like that would do some damage. If you lift a car off the ground, especially a truck like that, and it slams into the ground, I feel like that'd do some damage. But, whatever. Oh, there was a wrench back there I could have used before, but hey, okay, whatever. See, that was the hit I was looking for last time. Got you trapped in the corner. Things aren't looking up for you, buddy. And one more. Drive to the power plant parking lot. Okay. That's a short little ways to go. We can do that. Oh, I can't look. Oh, and I hear the garage door opening. Yep, that means good thing we're near the end of the episode because I need to stop very soon. I also need to stop hitting people because that just causes damage. Now, uh, there's not a wrench, but there is a truck up here. Right, destroy the last truck. Okay. Two minutes, one car. And I need to make sure the cops don't get on me because they don't care about this truck. They care about me. 
Uh, not off to a great start, you know, but whatever. I can T-bone him up here. Spin him around. Nail you there. Um, things aren't going too well. No, I need to uh, build up more speed and ram into you. Unless I can get you to drive into something, but that's not happening well either. Oh my. That's better. Still not much though. Oh, there was a cola thing back there I never grabbed. You know what? If things don't end well... I think the mission ends right here once we destroy this last one, but if not, I'll go pick it up. Can I destroy you? Yes, one more good hit will do it. But where will that good hit come from? Probably by me driving through here to intersect up here. Yes! Drive to the Simpsons house. Alright, so I can go get that. Just need to make sure I don't get the cops on me, which is harder because I can't see where I'm going because of the smoke. Oh, there's a wrench over there. Good. Yeah. I guess I never got this because, well, we did come up this way when we were returning the ketchup packets, but whatever. Um, don't get the cops on me. And, uh, I can come through here. I don't need to drive so recklessly. I'm not timed. I just need to go back to the Simpsons house and then we'll be done with this mission. Isn't that right? I believe so. Unless there's like a secret truck that I don't know about. In which case... <laughs> good thing I got that wrench. Oh, great. I have to finish the episode by ba getting caught by the cops one last time. Unless I do get to the house. Oh, there's one in there. Intercept me from up here. Are you, get away from Chief Wiggum. That was not what I wanted. So many cops. Well, Chief Wiggum is on us for a different reason than the other cops, but he's doing a much better job than them. I might have hit a person, but hopefully his own cops will screw him over. Yes! So I think we're good now. Disorganized police, the bane of the Simpsons' existence. Alrighty, we should just be about done here. Sorry, I'm a little more quiet now. That was everything in mission or level four. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.